My name is Cherie Suman. I'm 17 years old and I go to Compadre High School. I am Christian Leva. I attend Compadre High School. My name is Danielle Fascia. I'm 17 and I go to Compadre. It's kind of a different kind of school. A lot of people look at it as in a continuation, alternative, and it has a reputation because a lot of kids that failed classes or have been in trouble, they get sent there. I was a troublesome kid. November of my sophomore year, that's when they told me we're kicking you out. I looked around and I was like, I want to change. I want to change who I am. I, I don't want to be no one. I want to do something in my life. So it was sophomore year when I got pregnant and there's a lot of stuff that's happened for all four years of high school. I haven't experienced as much as I'd like to. I got pregnant when I was the beginning of my sophomore year. So I didn't have a high school life. I had to like grow up so fast. Once they found out, a lot of people didn't like me. A lot of people just talked about me. And people would say stuff when you go out in public. My family didn't really want to be around me when I was pregnant. I guess they were like ashamed, because I was 15. And it's definitely hard. It's definitely the hardest thing I think of, I've had to ever experience. And ever since then, I've been struggling in school. Sometimes I do want to just give up. We're about to go to University of Phoenix to interview people that have been highly successful in their life. We're just gonna talk to them to figure out how they got here today. Where were you at when you were our age? Did you have any mentors throughout your life? What did you want to be growing up? When I was your age, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Throughout my life, I've wanted to be different things. What you want now as like 17, 18 year olds might change down the line. My career path is I'm really happy with where I am. Do I need to be a VP? Do I need to be a CEO? Nah. This is where I am and I'm good at where I am. In life you have to find what you love and hopefully you get paid for it, which I'm very lucky to, to be able to do. I think talking to them, it like helped a lot and it's fun to just be able to interact with a lot of people. I'll be able to like go off the stories and make my own story in life. During our age, could you have ever seen yourself being president or CEO of a company or anything? Never in a million years. Not unlike the two of you, I was a teenage mother. Um, I ended up getting pregnant uh, in my senior year of high school and had to finish high school at an alternative school, which was, um, for me, a huge embarrassment. And emotionally and mentally, I started to really degrade. And I didn't have goals or a vision for the future or an idea. It was like that was, you know, going to be my life. Which I find kind of phenomenal now that I look back at Susan then. It's like, why didn't you see it? Why didn't you have a vision or a goal or see that there was potential for you? What I didn't know was what my education would do for me and where it would take me. And above and beyond just the knowledge that you gain is the ability to see something through and the ability to move forward in life. It was really shocking to hear that she was a teen mom. So like she really just touched me and then like made me want to cry. I just really just wanted to hug her. Some people, they can tell you that they know it's hard, but they really don't. don't. Like yeah. they don't understand. I've never met somebody personally that's actually been through what we have. I just like the fact that she says just keep moving forward and just go for whatever you really desire to do. You guys have all the potential in the world. You just have to want it and go for it. We live in such a cool time that you guys can do and become whatever you want as long as you work hard for it. Talking to these people definitely made me realize that I can do whatever I want if I work hard. I have to fight for the things I want. It's going to be a challenge for me, but it's a matter of preparing myself. Most of them have all had a little bit of struggles to get to where they are today, and they all have really good careers now, and nothing is just going to go perfect. But I think in the end it'll be worth it, because that's how I feel. This was a really awesome experience.